Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, now what you can see, eh, possibly, uh, what you can see here, maybe, is a Cairo Flux uh, USB um, floppy adapter, I suppose. And what that is, it's a byte by byte uh, floppy copy device for various images, whether it be the Amiga, the BBC, the Apple II, the Commodore 64, whatever. Um, what it does, it makes exact copies um, of a disk that you put in there, and vice versa. It can take those images and write them back to floppy disk. Now the reason I bought one of these um, is because all the strange formats that I use for various machines, sometimes it's a bit of a pig getting these images written to a floppy disk. Um, some Sam Coupe, some even some Atari ST, um, oh, Acorn Electron, various, various uh, BBCB, anyway. So the reason is I wanted an all-in-one solution uh, as best as I can. Now there isn't an all-in-one solution as such, um, but this is fairly close, and perhaps, yeah, uh, perhaps it will, uh, it will suit my needs. But anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, use my Windows 10 laptop to write a floppy image to the Caro Flux, which will then write it to the floppy disk drive here, which is a normal PC 3.5 inch. Um, and it's going to write a IPF disk, um, which is an original save of the original disk, not a cracked version, not a hacked, not a modded in any way, the original version as it came from the factory. So let's see what we can do. Now I've chosen uh, a game that you may or might not know. I've just selected it's an IPF start and that will eventually write it to disk. So I'm not sure if you can see it from there. I've had to move the camera out of the way a bit. Um, but that's now writing an IPF to my 3.5 inch disk drive. Um, and this is a game by Nova Logic, I think. Nova Gen, Nova Logic. Uh, called Backlash. It's rubbish. Uh, it's just an IPF that I found very quickly that I'm going to write just to show it working. Now, if I was saving disks from this to the Cara Flux, I would use their own software, which is primarily for saving data to Windows or Mac or whatever. It's a GUI for saving from disk. Um, but I don't want to save, I want to write in this particular instance. So I'm using another piece of software that's available from Caraflux. It's called something odd. It's called Wild Woods or something. Um, and it will write IPFs, streams, uh, raw data, um, ADF, and various other things back to disk for you. So this is what's running now. That's the little piggy program that you might be able to see on screen. Uh, I have tried this on my Mac in OS X. It does function exactly the same. I didn't try the writing bit of the software. Um, I just saved, I just backed up a few disks. And it works fine. Because it's a bit by bit copy um, in a similar sort of fashion to the old X copy, but this is using hardware uh, and it does a, seemingly a perfect and exact copy of the disk image. So as long as the disk isn't damaged that you are copying, it will save a perfect image. ADF is not a perfect image. It won't save, for example, missing sectors. It won't save copyright sectors. It won't save any sort of strange copy protection. It just won't do it. Um, but this will, and that's the advantage of it. It can write, theoretically, any disk. So it's telling me that that is done. Please eject your disk. Okay. So we'll pop this into the Amiga 500. I will do a live stream of this later today. I'm just doing a quick one now, showing the, the, the equipment briefly. Uh, here we go, Backlash. Now the first thing you'll notice is there is no crack intro or crack tro. Um, 
This is 1987 Nova Gen, and this is one of the games that I got with my original Amiga 500 in February of 1988. Uh, I think it's not that good, to be honest. That's why it was included as a freebie. But, um, but yeah, so there we go. It is saving me an image that isn't from ADF, and it has no cracked row. Now, unless you buy the original game from, I don't know, eBay or somewhere, you're unlikely to find a game without a crack throw. And there we go. It's just a battle zone type game. I'm not that interested in playing it particularly. Um, but what I was interested in showing is how you do it. Um, the GUI that they come with, which is that the Cairo Flux comes with rather. is that and it's a javascript program and it is purely for saving a byte by byte bit by bit image of the floppy disk in raw data um, and it seems to function very well I've, had, I've, I've only done a couple of disks I'm not that interested in saving I must admit I'm more interested in writing back so I can get software onto an Apple II onto um, I don't know the ZX Spectrum say um, or whatever. I have been using WinImage in Windows as a software solution and it kind of works but not always. So hopefully this will um, this will get me some interesting uh, interesting images to play with on various streams in the future. But this is just a quick look at it. Um, I'll do a few zoom-ins with the camera when I finish rabbiting all about nonsense. And um, uh, yeah, it seems to function well. This is a, it's an eBay purchase. I bought this a week or two ago. It was quite expensive, but it came with a floppy disk drive and it was ready to go. Uh, so yeah, it's all good. It works best with uh, a certain type, brand, or type of type of disk drive anyway. Don't ask me what that is. I have read about it. I did know, but I've forgotten. I think they it has to be able to access access. I don't know, 83 tracks or 84 tracks or something. On most PC floppies, access, whatever it is. I might be wrong there, but it's something like that. Anyway, and that is the Cairo Flux. You can see it works. Um, I'll do another one, just so you know I'm not telling fibs. So it's the same disc. We'll pop it back in there, we don't need that one. We need the Mr. Piggy one. So we'll select another file. open and start. Uh, I haven't changed any of the settings on the GUI. They are exactly as they were. Um, and it functions well. So I'm not messing with it. I'm off work this week so you'll be seeing a stream. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, you'll be seeing a, a, a batch of videos coming. Now the one thing about the Cairo Flux people that I kind of don't agree with, but I know what they're saying, is basically they want all the software, or as much software as possible, backed up and saved for future generations, which is an admirable task. Um, but because a lot of this software is obviously commercial, uh, they won't allow you to have access to the images or to other people's images. So they have a massive database of thousands or hundreds of thousands of programs uh, but you can't access them unless the authors specifically say that it is free and you, you can access it and then they will stick it up on their website and download it. But what they will do, if you send them an image they will write that image back to a blank disk for you and send it back to you so you have a copy of your original software. And the idea is that they're keeping a massive database of programs, like I said, for future generations. Although if no one has access to it, I'm not quite sure what the point is. But, hey-ho. Now if you're an Amiga user, let's face it, 9 out of 10 programs are already on ADF. 
but I guarantee you that most of those will be cracked versions because the copy protection is being removed because an ADF will not, as far as I know, will not um, uh, work with a copy protected disc. And that's where this little beauty comes in. Like I say, they're not cheap. You can buy them from caroflux.com. I'll provide a link either at the beginning of the video or at the end. And um, you can buy software, you can buy the hardware and the disk drive from them and the power pack as well, I think. It's my power pack, I don't know what it is. I think it's a router power pack, I'm not sure. 9 volt, I think, or 12, I can't remember. But you can get a power pack from them on the website. 1 amp, I think it is. Coffee, lovely. It's not the fastest thing in the world. What am I actually copying here? Oh, Bruce, Bruce Lee, Bruce Lai, and it's a, it's a new game. Um, it's been released for the Amiga this year, 2017. It's an ADF, so obviously it contains no copy copy protection. <clears throat> I might as well have a play. Yeah, I remember this. I was I was really quite unimpressed when I loaded this. I thought, is that the best Amiga can do? Well, I, I knew it wasn't because I'd seen Defender of the Crown, but uh, this could have been so much better. It's a 1987 game, so presumably it was made for the A1000, I'm not sure. Uh, so this is what the point I was making earlier. Uh, ADF written OK. Track 80 is unread. Track 81 is unread. And that's often saved or used for copy protection. Hence why the, the ADF won't work. But this will work OK. Pop that in there and reset the Amiga 500. It's a 500 plus with um, two meg chip, two meg fast. Amiga Wave. Okay. Bruce Lee. There's no audio. I don't have the. Um, Audio leads plugged in. But there we go. You can see it's working and everything's okay. So that is the Caro Flux. I'll be doing a lot more videos on this as time goes on. Chances are I'll be doing streams rather than a, a video camera. Um, so I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. I click Spanish then, I think it did. Espanol. Oh yeah. I did. <laughs>